Hey friends, Kimmy Fruits, your independent Cincy consultant here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back and seeing what I have to say today. If you are new, hi, thanks for stopping by. This is my Cincy channel and all things Cincy. Um, my hair is a hot mess today. It is really nasty and raining and gross. Uh, I came home from work an hour and a half ago for his action. Need a trim, need a dye. I'm not going to re-dye my hair though because it is December and I'm not going to be cold showering in December. That does not sound like a good time. So uh, my hair is fading and I actually kind of really like the multicolors that it's fading into. So I'm just going to leave it and uh, next spring I'll decide what I want to do. I'm going to grow it out again and I don't know. In spring I'll decide what I want to do with it. Right now I'm just going to fade the color and grow it out. Anyway, you're not here to see my hair. I have an empties video today, what I've been warming in the last couple of weeks. It is mostly wax. I got through a ton of wax and I have some other stuff, some pods and stuff. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, I think I have everything here, but my daughter's been running around playing with these things. She likes to play with my empty stuff. Don't ask me why. She's five. I don't know. She enjoys it, so I let her do it. So, I've got pods. I've got wax. Okay, here's a tester for Scary Good. Let's see. I think the rest of it is just wax, so we'll go ahead and get into the pods. I've got a ton of wax here. I've been getting through. So, pods... My husband has a sugared strawberry pod in his pickup truck right now. So that's what he's been using. He has the marble mini fan. He loves it in his pickup truck. He loves fruity scents. So the sugared strawberry is perfect. That is no longer available. I'm pretty sure that was an Easter exclusive. I really hope they bring that back to the spring summer catalog for 2022 because it was amazing in the pods. Um, it's amazing in the wax. I hope it comes back. Um, I did a mixture. I have a pumpkin roll pod. And I have a dancing sugar plums pod. And I did one of these and one of these uh, twice in my guest bath right behind me here. It was really nice. Um... I don't know if it's just my house or if it's me, but I don't feel like either one of these are like too strong. I feel like they're nice. They're medium. Um, I did enjoy the scent. I just didn't feel like it lasted long enough. Um, I guess I'm just, I don't know. I feel so picky about things anymore, but it's like if it is literally not smacking my head and my face with fragrance, I feel like it's too light. I don't know. I'm weird, but. You all already knew that. So I have Feeling Pine in the guest bath right now. I'm getting ready to change it out because I can't really smell it anymore. But I did want to use this. I don't think this is available right now. I don't know. I don't know when this came out. If this came out last year or this year. It's literally just a tree scent. It's okay. I don't like it that much. Um... And I wanted to get through it because I didn't want to hold on to it for another year. And I'm like, I'm very seasonal usually with my melting. So I got through that. Um, I have Amazon Rain, a set in my air purifier in the bedroom. Love this one. So good. It's just clean and fresh and slightly sweet floral. Just, it's a sister to Luna, and I love doing this in my bedroom and my car. I have a one, my mini fan has one Amazon Rain pod going in the car. I know I have a pack of Luna that I went through. I'm pretty sure my daughter took off with that. So I went through, I think, two packs of Luna pods. She took off with those. They're probably in her black hole of a room somewhere. So kids. Uh, I finished up, my daughter and I finished up a uh, Luna body scrub. This stuff is amazing. Um, love it. Luna is my favorite. If you know the sugar scrub, 
it's super fine, but it's it does a really good job. If you don't like the finer scrubs, um, you probably wouldn't like this one. It's not real coarse like Tree Hut or anything like that. It is a true to its name sugar scrub with a fine scrub, but there is quite a bit of that grit in there for you to exfoliate and it is lovely since scented in Luna. So pop through one of those. And now we have wax and I'm gonna set this up just a little bit because I know I have some duplicate bars in here. And then we can roll on with the all this wax that I got through. <clears throat> Let's see. Lots and lots of things this time. Got some retired things. I've got some current things. Some things that I just wanted to get through. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of a couple of these. Which doesn't surprise me because it is the season to be using these types of scents that I have here. I am um I am kind of ready for the fresh scents though. Like I feel like I've been using the fall winter scents forever and ever now. Um I know that sounds kind of funny. It's only December 16th when I'm filming this. Um, but, oh my god. Uh, I'm kind of ready for fresh scents. I'm kind of over, like, the super heavy ones. But, hey, still have two weeks till Christmas. And then we still have another week until January when it's kind of acceptable to do fresh stuff. I mean, I guess it's acceptable to do all the time, but... So, I got through a bar of Luna. There's a shock, my favorite. So good. Um, I use it in my bedroom. The thing about Luna that kills me is some people say this is a powerhouse. It's not a powerhouse to me, and neither is Amazon Rain, but they're two of my top five most favorite scents. Luna is my top, my number one uh, most favorite scent. Amazon Rain is probably number two. Um, they're really... They're pretty light for me, so I only do them in my bedroom, and I absolutely love them. So good, you guys. So Luna, I got through a bar of that. Uh, I got through a bar of mold cider, mold cider and spice. Um, this is a part of the three bar holiday. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of what I was the word I was looking for. Holiday collection. That's currently available. Uh, it smells like a cidery, just a spicy cidery scent. With like a little cedar wood in it. It was okay. I'm not a huge fan of this. I just feel like there's better cidery spicy scents. It's alright. I wouldn't repurchase the trio again. Um, I, however, did put the Joy and Wonder scent in my club. I really like this one. This one is really nice. It is musky, patchouli, slightly sweet. Really nice. I like this a lot. It reminds me of Ghostly Greetings. That was a scent of the month two years ago, I think, or last year. I don't remember. It was a scent of a month for September or October uh, one year, and it was really great, and it's very similar to this. It's got, like, more of a sweeter note in the ghastly, or the ghostly greetings. The joy and wonder, it's got more of a woodsy note with the patchouli and a slight sweetness and musk. This is just really nice. I really, really like this one. Um, I put a bar of this in my club for, for me to have next year. I have it in my uh, quarterly subscription. So that one was really nice in the trio. Um, the, the other one is a pine scent in the holiday trio. I don't think I've used it. Um, feeling pine maybe. I'm not sure. I honestly don't even remember. There's so many tree scents right now. I don't even really know what is going on. So, um, I don't know if I, I don't, then it wasn't one I was like super amazed by, but anyway, I'll tell you one I am amazed by, and I'm super duper sad it's gone. 
Um, farmhouse fur. I think this was my very last bar. I love this one so much and I'm 100% sad. I did not put this in my Scentsy Club. So good, you guys. Uh, just a really beautiful, sweet tree scent. And I, I'm just really kicking myself for taking that one out. Um, icicles and evergreen is a nice substitute. Um, but I do miss farmhouse fur. If you can get yourself a bar of this, it's really worth trying if you like the pine scents. Um, icicles and evergreen, the scent of the month for November. I did get through one of those. It's just, this is like a, a much more, I don't want to say astringent because it's not really astringent, but it's, it's much more astringent than the farmhouse fur. The farmhouse fur is definitely just a softer pine with a more of a sweetness. This is definitely a more astringent with a little bit of like a cooling note and a tiny bit of like citrus. I really, I think there's eucalyptus in this. I really like this. It's like a clean pine scent, but not like pine salt. It's got eucalyptus, so it's cooling and clean. And then you have that sweet pine. Um, I do like this and I did put this in my club, my quarterly subscription. So I can have that tree scent because I really do like that one. Uh, that will replace farmhouse fur and uh evergreen grapefruit because they got rid of that one too womp womp and i really like that and didn't put it in my club so here is the benefits you need to get a scentsy club when these bars retire put if you're in doubt put the bars on your scentsy club we don't know if they're ever going to come back um the big shocker this past catalog was honey pear cider whoops and i went through three bars of this I put this in my club last fall when it was uh, being uh, discontinued from the catalog. I'm like, heck no, I'm not being without this. I love this one. And I'm so glad I did because I didn't bring it back to my Scentsy Club, though. So I get it forever and ever. Amen. Um, I went through three bars of this. <clears throat> so good. It's a sweet honey scent with some spices. Just beautiful fall scent. I absolutely love it. Obviously I do it into winter as well. It's just a nice winter cozy scent. Like you're in the house and you just want to be cozy. Honey pear cider, you guys, if you can get some, try it. It's worth it. I mix it with winterberry apple tea, which I went through two bars of this and I would have went through more, but I don't think I have any more. I need to order some winterberry apple tea. This one is beautiful. Uh, I always put this in my club when it retires at the end of the season because I never, ever want to be without this. I love this bar. It's a beautiful, very spicy, slightly tiny, tiny touch of honey, and then you get a little tea. It's it's just so good. Um, if you're familiar with Yankee Candle Cider House scent, it smells pretty similar to that. Oh, my gosh. It, this is just too good. I love that winterberry apple tea. I went through two bars. I need to order more of that. I have a random Aladdin one jump ahead bar. Um, I think there was like three cues of this and I used it. It's an apple scent. I probably used it with this orchard apple spice from the harvest collection. I probably melted these together if I use their apple scents. This was a, nip, a really nice apple scent. I really did. It's just apples and a little spice, the orchard apple and spice. Um, the Aladdin bar, it's like Johnny Appleseed, but it's a little more artificial. Um, it's all right. I just kind of wanted to get through it and I was doing this apple scent. So I just put them together. Um, I went through a bar of snow kissed cranberry. I don't believe this one came back either. This was a scent of the month, I think from last year. It's just like a sweet tart cranberry scent. Really nice. I melted it with the uh, icicles and evergreen to give it a little bit of a sweetness. Nice, nice touch. I went through two bars of vanilla bean buttercream. This is just a classic staple vanilla scent. I love this one. You can mix it with pretty much anything and you'll be fine. Sweet, delicious, heaps of vanilla. So good, you guys. I love that. Um, When I was really sick. So that's another reason I didn't film. Um, I was sick for 10 days. Pretty sure I had the flu. I did not get tested. No, I didn't have COVID. I was able to smell and taste. I didn't lose any of that. I didn't have COVID. Um, 
but I was very sick. I couldn't even understand me. Like, I was just coughing, and it was terrible. That's why I did not want to film in the last, like, two weeks. I know it's, like, way, it's almost in the second half of December, and I haven't put anything up. And I'm like, man, I need to get a video up. I need to get something up. But I, ugh, you didn't want to hear me. It just sounded terrible. So I was sick for 10 days and finally started getting better on day 11. I don't know how my husband didn't get sick or my daughter didn't get sick. Apparently they have better immune systems than me. I got this from my work. So, you know, my work family got me sick. It went through my whole department. I think I was one of the last ones, but it finally hit me. I'm finally over it. Thank the Lord. But when I was sick, I posted out this Bring Back My Bar Eucalyptus because I needed it. And then I did this bar of Fiddly Fig with it. This discontinued two years ago or a lot, uh, two years ago, I think. It's like a fresh, just clean, earthy scent. It's a powerhouse. This is so strong. Uh, I just mixed it with Eucalyptus because I wanted something else in the room. Um, it wasn't too bad of a combo. Um, both powerhouses and super strong. So it was knocking me out when I couldn't, uh, breathe. So there was that. I was able to smell those. Um, I went through one bar of fireside chats from the, uh, what is it? It's not the holiday collection. It's, I'm just going to say holiday collection because I can't think of what it was called. Um, the five par five pack of bars um, that came out. And you can get them as a set. It had the cookies for Santa. It had the fireside chats. Spiced apple chestnut. The bayberry and currant. And the wassail wonderland. That collection. Um, fireside chats is really nice. It's like a woody, sweet, spicy scent. I really enjoyed this. Uh, I keep debating whether I want to put it in my club or not. I need to get another bar to try it. Um, I really did enjoy that. But the one I have enjoyed the most, uh, I've got, I went through four bars of the Spiced Apple Chestnut. This is amazing. I bought three bars when uh, they had a 48 hour sale. I think it was two weeks ago. I bought four three bars and I've already went through all of them. I need more. This it's so on cold. I was like, man, this smells weird. So it took me a while to warm it. Well, when it's warming, it's amazing. Knocks your socks off. It's like a beautiful, woody, sweet, spicy, musky, apple-y, woody scent. It's just so good. I I have enjoyed it so much. Um, this is in my club right now. I love it. Uh, I don't want to be without this one for next season. Next winter season. Four bars of this bad boy. I need more. I don't have any more. So I do need to order some more of that. This one was so good. Spiced apple chestnut. Still available. And you can put it in club. Good stuff there. I went through... A bar of spiced grapefruit. This is so good. It was a bring back my bar a couple of years ago. Um, this is what I want Wassail Wonderland to be. Wassail Wonderland, I don't know what it is. Something in it I don't like. But this spiced grapefruit, oh my god. This is, I melted this with icicles and evergreen. And it's so good. It gives you that citrus that I wanted with my pine scent. And it was just amazing. It's just so zesty. And you get like that. Tiny hint of clove. Really, really good. If you can get some spiced grapefruit, it is like perfect for the winter season. I love this. Um, kind of sad I took it out of my club. I hope it comes back one day so I can add it back or just stock up because that's such a good winter scent. I think I have like one bar left. Not sure. Um, I went through two bars of cranberry garland. I love this one. This is another one that did not come back this winter. I put it in my club last year and I'm really glad I did because this is my favorite cranberry scent. 
It's so good. You get like a frosted, like not frosted, you get like a holly berry scent, a little bit of like the winter berry fruits, and then just some greenery. Get that cranberry note. It's so beautiful. Um, I absolutely love this one. It's my favorite cranberry scent. I have, I think, 10 bars right now because I stocked up when it was in the clearance section a month ago or so. And I get it in my club, and I've been getting it in my club. So I have a couple bars, but he's got to stay in my club because this is one of my favorite winter bars ever, Cranberry Garland. I got through one bar of baked apple pies. Smells exactly as the name. It's delicious. I got an entire brick in my club order this month. I can't wait to get it. It smells amazing. It's just a beautiful baked spicy apple pie with crust note even so good that's a staple um actually i guess i went i went through two bars of spiced grapefruit this one just popped up so maybe this was my last one. Oh, that makes me so sad you guys so good i really did really like that one i might not have any more uh i went through this is really good i think people have been sleeping on this i'm putting this in my club uh by by the end of this season it's the uh, Spiced Ember Glow, and this one just came out uh, this catalog season. It's so good. You get, like, the, the woodsy embers, and you get, like, this beautiful spicy clove note. Slightly, slightly smoky. It's, it's just a really warm, cozy scent. Like, I'm, I want to warm this when it's, like, super cold outside. It just makes me feel cozy and homey. I love it. So that's Spiced Ember Glow. Y'all need to try that. Don't sleep on that one. That's really good. And last but not least, uh, Amber Road. This was a Bring Back My Bar. I don't know. Whenever. Some Bring Back My Bar time. Um, it's really good. Uh, my husband actually went out of town today. He'll be gone for a day and a half, day or so. So he does not like this scent, so I put it in today because he is not here. So I'm warming this in the living room with vanilla bean buttercream. It's a earthy, ambery, musky, sweet scent. It's it's really nice. Uh, I think I have one more bar of it. It's just really good. I I really enjoy it. My husband, on the other hand, he said Amber's got to go down the road, so he's not a big fan of this one, but. I really like it. So I put it in while he's gone. And I'm going to enjoy that with my vanilla bean buttercream. So guys, that is everything. That is everything I've been getting through in the last couple of weeks. I am very sorry. I have not uploaded anything for a while. Being sick and just working in retail. It's, it's during December. It's a crazy time. And I really hope you guys are well. I hope everyone is staying illness free and stress free and just trying to enjoy life because you only get one, right? So I've been enjoying it with my home fragrance and I'm going to continue. I do have several things coming up. I have a haul coming up soon. Bring back my bar, January, 2022. We're able to purchase those today so i'm going to have the first sniffs on those coming up soon can't wait to share those with you guys so thank you so much for stopping by and watching today come back and check me out again soon bye guys